Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. We are on day three in Disney World and we are off to Animal Kingdom this morning to have breakfast with the gang. Now I'm not too sure what characters are there. I'm pretty sure it's Mickey, Goofy, Donald, Pluto. I don't think Minnie's there, but we did meet Pluto yesterday and it was such a fun character interaction. I loved meeting Pluto yesterday in Epcot. Good job, Aubrey. So this morning, me and Cole are actually just gonna pop over to the reception because they've got a shop in there and we are in urgent need of fans. Animal Kingdom is the worst park in terms of heat and yesterday the heat was, it was a lot and our fans have already broke on us and literally only lasted one day. So me and Cole are now just gonna pop over to the shop and see if there is a fan in there. I'm really hoping so because everywhere I've been, I can't manage to find one. But me and my mum did find a poncho yesterday, which is great because our first full day, it absolutely threw it down for about two hours in Magic Kingdom and it just wasn't a great experience. The kids were so dry because they've got a push chair and a rain cover, but me and my mum were soaked. So ponchos are a must if you're coming to Orlando, Florida. But let's get the day started. We're very excited. We're not going to spend the full day in Animal Kingdom purely for the fact that it is quite hot and it is one of the hottest parks. But we are here for two weeks, so there's plenty of time to go back and do what we want to do. We do want to do Kilimanjaro Safaris though, so hopefully the queue isn't too long because we really would love to do that. That's one of our must rides today. If we don't do anything else, we need to do that because it is so much fun and I really think the kids are going to love that. So let's head out, let's go to the reception and then I'll finish getting the kids ready and then we're going to order an Uber by I think 8 o'clock because we do need to be there in good time and Tusker House is right at the back of Animal Kingdom so come along with us. It is so much cooler this morning, which I'm loving. Cole did not want to come with me, so I'm going on my own. Plus, it'll be quicker, and I won't have kids asking me for everything in the shop. So, fingers crossed we've got the fan. We really, really need one, and I can't for the life of me find one, and I'm not paying $22 in the Disney parks. That is way too expensive. Update, no fan. Fingers crossed we find one, because I definitely feel like it is absolutely needed. If I, again, could recommend anything. So anyone coming to Florida, you do need a fan. It is very hot this time of year. Thankfully, it does feel much cooler today. It stays that way. So, yeah, we've got about 15 minutes, and then we need to go and grab an Uber. So, I'm going to finish getting Arbor ready, organise the bag, and then we need to go, because we are going to go and have breakfast with Mickey and his friends. And I'm so excited. This is the only character dining that we bought throughout the whole entire trip so i'm very much looking forward to it so we're gonna take you guys along with us and fingers crossed we also find a fan today as well this stroller has been a lifesaver for our trip the kids literally spend most of the time in here and it's perfect when it's so hot are you ready to go under the sign ready yay where are we guys Animal Kingdom! So we made it to Animal Kingdom and every single day when we try to get into the park there is an issue with the kids fingerprints so from now on they've changed it and it's gonna be mine so that hopefully should make the process that little bit easier but we're just on our way to try and find Tusker House to go and have some breakfast with Mickey and friends and Arbor is loving it because every time we're walking through there's some kind of animal and she's fascinated. This is by far could probably be one of her favourite parks. I can see it. She loves animals, so this will be a thing. We gave in and paid the Disney prices for fans. It's absolutely necessary, and I can't find one anywhere, so Disney price fans it is. Cole, who did you just meet? I met you Mickey. You did, and you've got, what juice have you got? Jungle juice, have you tried that? Is it nice? And it's got fruit loops. <laughs> And she's got mini waffles. <laughs> we got some breakfast, we got some Mickey waffles. You got some cereal now. There is a fork. What did you get? That sounds yummy. Who's that? Aww. Aww. 
so we just got out of Tusker House. We met Donald, Daisy, Goofy and Mickey and the kids got a signed picture of all of them and we managed to meet all the characters, some of them twice. So we're now just going to walk around the park. It is a lot more cooler today, thank goodness. So I think we might be able to stay here for a little longer than I planned. So yeah, we're going to go see what we can do. I think Kilimanjaro as far is about 40 minutes, which is a little bit long for the kids to wait. So we'll just see what we can do. As we make our way to Rafika's Planet Watch, keep an eye out for some of the exciting wildlife we might encounter along the way and the highly trained specials. Aubrey! Aubrey, there's more coming. Aubrey, look! Oh, wow! Look, donkeys! Aren't they lovely? Are you having a good time? Where else should we go and see? I follow you. Okay. Oh! Grab Teddy. So we're now just leaving Rufaki's Planet Watch. Honestly, I'd recommend you come here, especially if you have young kids that like animals and petting them. Aubrey loved it. But we're now gonna make our way back to the main park and see what else we can do. But that's definitely worth checking out. And it's not overly busy either. Like there was no queue. We got straight on the train and it's not busy here either. And there's also somewhere here where you can draw as well if you're interested in doing that. Not a bit of me, but we did really enjoy coming here as well. <laughs> Mom. My mum was being made to save every animal they see while we wait for the train. So I just went to have a little nosy around one of the shops here, I can't recite what it's called but you would have seen a little clip and some of the things I found in there are things that I also had when we went to Thailand many years ago so that was like a little throwback and I loved it um, but yeah the kids just weren't in the mood to come in but I'm just going to check how long Kilimanjaro as far as it is, how long's the queue for the ride? That's like three minutes? It doesn't say three minutes, does it? Does that say three minutes? Or does it say... Th That's not three minutes. That was actually 35 minutes, not three minutes. We all got snacks. I got a Mickey bar. Cole got popcorn and Aubrey got some crisps. We did queue for Triceratops spin, but unfortunately it broke down whilst we were sitting on it. So we're going to try and find Dinosaur because that's a little bit more appealing to Cole now that he has broke down because he's not going to want to wait and they can't give us an exact time of how long it'll be down for. So we're going to try and find Dinosaur. Now it's on. Did you like that? You did, didn't you? You didn't like that ride, did you? I had no idea what that ride did at all and it was going all over the place. Aubrey did not like it but Cole absolutely loved it and wants to go on it again but Dino Land isn't going to be here for much longer because I think it's been changed to Encanto and in Indiana Jones. That might be wrong but it's something along those lines. Attempt two at Triceratops spin. Are you going to call it Yes. Yeah, Aubrey where have we been today? Um, where did we go? We, we have been to see Dino and then Cody's gone on, on the Triceratops ride again. Yeah, we did go on Triceratops again, didn't we? We did put it down on us. Me. And then what I characters did you meet today? Yeah. Okay. Mama, 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 let me have to make coffee and I did it. You made coffee in the coffee machine. <laughs> Also, we're back from Animal Kingdom. As you can tell, the kids are very hyper in the background. 
but it was getting a little bit too hot so we've called it a day but we are gonna go back because the parks are absolutely massive you 100 percent need more than one day in them and i think we need a day to do more rides i think what i might do is get the multi pass like i did yesterday for epcot because we still need to do kilimanjaro safaris narva river journey i think both the kids are absolutely gonna love that our brew blaster did not like dinosaur to be fair we've got a photo pass picture and me and mum were like this because none of us expected it to be like that um cole loved it he wants to go back on that so i think on our next trip we need to go back and do that um but yeah we've absolutely loved animal kingdom it was so much fun and there's still loads more that i really want to do there so we need to go back at some point but we're now back and at the hotel and we're just gonna chill out for about half an hour and then we're gonna head to target which i'm so excited for i've waited to go to target my whole entire life and i'm so excited for this trip so yes Hopefully Target doesn't disappoint, but I did hear from somebody that this particular one was being refurbished. Fingers crossed that's not the case because if it is, there wasn't much stuff in stock. So I really hope that the one that the hotel is sending us to is not the one that's being refurbished. And if it was, it's all done now because I cannot wait to go here. So yeah, come to Target with us because I cannot wait. Here we are, Super Target. First stop is the Halloween section. If I can find it, I think it's in the back corner. So let's go find out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. We're at the important section, snacks. Aubrey, you want to help me put some of those in the trolley? Put them in there. Thank you. What are you having, Aubrey? I got this. Candy floss. It's, it's pink one. It's a Halloween one, though. It is. It's a Halloween, isn't it? Oh, you want this? So much more Halloween stuff. Look. My bottom. We can get those gently, otherwise you'll crush your Oreos. Very good, Aubrey. We're now browsing the fresh section and we're gonna pick something to have for dinner tonight. I love this place already. We got some sugar cookies and by the look of it, they're having a good time. The pumpkin section. What did you get, Aubrey? I get a lot of cupcakes. <gasps> Halloween cupcakes. I got so many. We're back from Target. Let me show you everything that we got. So this is everything that we got from Target. It's not much, but we're quite happy with everything that we've got. So had to get these Kit Kats. I just love how America just has so many different flavors of Kit Kats. And it's Halloween, so we had to get that one. Now, this is something I had to get. I hope these don't let me down because I'm so excited to try these. Oh, we've got some candy floss. Cole got exactly what you can get from the UK. But he's happy. Cupcakes. Why? This was actually a really good value. This was $9.99 and look how big it is. This is huge. I don't think you'd find something that cheap in the UK. And then, of course, Halloween again. Oreos. Arbor loves these. And yeah, that's everything that we got. We've got to do a taste test. I think we've got the pumpkin theme ones, but I don't think it tastes like pumpkin, but... Let me bug off. Wow. Wow. In our area, 77 mm. degrees with rainy conditions. They're so nice. So we're just heading back on out. We're gonna go and get some food from McDonald's. Honestly, the McDonald's here hits so much better than the UK. We had Taco Bell um, yesterday and I love America, but I think our Taco Bell in the UK is much better. I really didn't enjoy Taco Bell, so we're gonna go and have McDonald's for tea. They literally have everything here. And over there is a pizza oven. And we're back, I got a Big Mac and fries like I did the other day. What did you have? Nuggets. And you got a Teddy, didn't you, as well? Ketchup. We're just about to do some washing. Mum's holding all the washing and I'm being extremely helpful. Holding two washing pods. Who's ready to do some washing? <laughs> Look at us being productive. Look at the view from our resort. That's Icon Park where the big wheel is. And then this side we've got the pool and right over there we've got the park which the kids are really eager to go on. You want to go swimming? 
So there's currently no room in the washers, so we're just hanging around until there's some availability and trying to find something to do with the kids because the park is currently not open. Not sure why, but it is not. So we need something to occupy them because they are not impressed about it. Arcade in the hotel to the rescue. So we're now back at the room. The washing is on. We actually need to go and put it in the dryer and I think in about 10 to 15 minutes. We were gonna go to the park here, but unfortunately it's closed. Not too sure why, um, but we are gonna ask for reception about that, whether it'll be for the duration of our stay or whether it'll be open before we leave. So I'm gonna double check on that. And then I took them into the arcade because obviously they couldn't go to the park. And then they wanted to go into the pool. I thought they had a baby pool. I went to the staff and asked them if they had one. And they said, yes, that was correct. They do have one. Um, and where they said it was located, I went there and it wasn't there. Unless they just mean it was like quite shallow at one end. But I'm not too sure. It doesn't look shallow to me, watching people in it. Um, so I guess I'll just have to speak to them more about that. But obviously my kids just, they're not very confident in water. And I don't think they're going to want to be in a pool with people throwing floaties and things like that around. Um, especially after a long day. And I just don't think it's going to be something they're going to want to do today. Especially in a pool full of other people. Which was why a baby pool would have been a little bit better. Because it would have probably been for like younger children and like less confident swimmers. But fortunately, they don't have that. But, um can't be helped we're gonna go and sort the washing out soon um so yeah i think we're just gonna chill out it is getting quite late now anyway i think it's getting towards like eight o'clock and we are gonna head to disney springs tomorrow and we have a fun evening planned as well so if you guys did enjoy today's vlog please smash a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'd be extremely grateful and if you haven't already click that notification bell and notify every single time i upload a video and i'll see you in the next video